It's, it's so in our language, isn't it? When you talk to people, it's like, oh, yeah, they were on my level. They, they didn't feel right. All of our language, as, as far as communication, is literally to do its frequency. They yeah. gave you good vibrations, all this kind of stuff. So clearly, you know, I said it before, we're having a lot of communication issues at the moment with people because everyone's on different levels. You know, a lot, a, a lot of us watching this say certain messages to other people and they literally, they can't get it. Like we say, it goes over their head, right? Because their frequency is too low and the frequency goes over their head because it's too high. That's excellent. Excellent way to put it. Yeah, I still agree with that. So the thing is to kind of take, to take away the words. If you take away the words, you take away belief systems. You take away the, the mindset that I'm not you and you're not me. And we go to what we all are, and that's energy and vibration. And when you go to that core essence and work from there, instead of trying to change this out here, I believe this, so you should believe that. I'm yeah. of this religion, you should be of my religion. I'm of this politics. I'll, I'll, everybody's trying to convert everybody and we're clashing like crazy. And this needs to stop. We need an intervention of vibration and sound into the collective consciousness. So in your comments last time of the last video, they were asking, what are these color forks in front of David? Yes. So I think he's going to, he wants to spend a little time talking about uh, what Soma Energetics is built on, and it's called Solfeggio Frequencies. Yeah, yeah. Well, everyone's heard Solfeggios. Everyone goes, oh, Solfeggio, Solfeggio. But I'm not sure if, if many people actually know what, what that means. <laughs> yes, it's, uh, it's becoming more well-known uh, than when I first uh, started this 23 years ago. Uh, I was kind of out there. But it's, 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 it's coming around. I feel very humbled and honored that these frequencies were kind of dropped into my lap. I'm not the one that discovered them. What I did is uh, took the frequencies of the solfeggio forks and was able to put them into tuning forks. And when I did that, then I started getting downloads on how to use them. And that's how I developed Soma Energetics. And it was all based upon the idea of why people do not heal. And I don't want to get on this long, but I want to say I've been fascinated all my life because I've been around healing type of communities. And I've, I've just noticed some people heal and some people don't. And then I've noticed later that some people manifest and some people don't. Some people can manifest, uh, you know, a partner or a job or finance, but other people don't. It doesn't always work that way. Mm. And I couldn't figure out what is going on there. And uh, Campbell, what I finally came to is people didn't have the energy to manifest beyond survival. Because all we do is use energy enough to survive as a species. You know, we feel we're successful if we've got a, a nice home or a car or uh, the, the essentials of life. But yeah. I think there's something waking up in the soul, the collective soul that says, I want more than to survive. I want to thrive. I want life and abundantly. And I think the reason that has not happened is because people has not been in contact with that energy field, that unlimited energy field. Now, I call that energy field an energy field, but a lot of people might call that God or source or many different names that it's given, but actually it is an inexhaustible energy system that we can connect to with our own energy system because you have your own personal energy system, right? Yes. Each of your energy centers, like your chakras, spin off into an energy body. So you have physical, you have an etheric, you have a mental, you have an emotional, you have an astral, you have a causal, and you have an etheric level. And um, all of that is coming in to the body. Everybody thinks it's going out from the body, but it's actually also coming into the body to become the body. So your body is always energy becoming. Yes. Say that again. I, yeah. Your body is always energy becoming. By the time we're through today uh, with this, this time together, millions upon millions of cells will have died and recreated themselves right now where we're speaking. Yeah. Right? Yep. Now, where does those new cells come from is from the energy body that's closest to the physical, which is your etheric blueprint for cells. So when I got the solfeggio frequencies, I was told to work in the etheric body 
which is the cause of all disease, illness, and sickness. The body is not the cause of it. it. The body is the result or effect of what's happening in the etheric body. So these are called energy tuners, these colored forks here that don't have the weights. These work on the body. These work on the etheric body. So you got, you're working with cause and effect. Now, you're dealing with something with your arm, right? Yes. So you would use this, but then you also want to use these because you want to get rid of the cause of what's happening in your arm. Okay, so the weighted ones are to affect what's already manifested in the physical. The non-weighted ones are to change the blueprint before it manifests. Yeah. I mean, all matter owes its existing to vibrating, vibrating frequencies. The vibrating energy of various frequencies is behind the energetic blueprint that governs all molecular and biochemical processes of our body. Everything comes from the energy, and the energy then vibrates into matter. Mm. So why would you want to just deal with the, the body when it's being caused by what's going on vibrationally in your energy field? Emotions all have a vibratory pattern to it. We've looked at cymatics a bit in my channel and literally yeah. it's all frequency and just, you know, if the frequency is off just a little bit, right, 0 0.001, if it's off, then you just got to get a mess. As soon as you hit that right frequency, you get this geometric perfection. So that's what these are pretty much doing, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, cymatics is the science proof that vibration repatterns physiology. There's videos out there that shows how the, a bow against a metal plate with sand on it will make all these wonderful patterns of energy. Sometimes if we have caught within our energy field some unfinished tra trauma, like some emotional thing from even childhood, it remains as a mispatterning in the energy body, which shows up in the physical body. So I wanted to share with you personally, sometimes if I have somebody come to me and they say, I have something wrong with my arm, uh, my arm hurts. You know what I do? I say, no, what hurt is showing up in your arm? What emotional hurt? What happened somewhere energetically in your energy life stream that has caused this to now manifest in your arm? So see, I would go into dealing with someone to try to find out where was, a, where, where was there a hurt? Where was a, a trauma in which you are still grieving it? and you've not let it go, and if we let that go, then it's going to repattern the physical uh, arm itself. So it's, uh, it's, this is a deeper healing process uh, in some way. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about solfeggio for solfeggio. Solfeggio is a term for a set of frequencies that, believe it or not, was once sung in a Gregorian chants uh, many centuries ago. Yes. And uh, when, when they were being sung, wonderful things happened. People really uh, connected to their deity. People were healed, all kinds of wonderful things. And then they were taken out from that. And uh, in the absence of that, there was other uh, scales that were put in there that were more limiting. See? Yeah. So... Uh, this is exciting that so many things that have been edited out from us that are indigenous are coming back mm. because we have a promise that before the age, before this 3D age world ends, everything that has been edited out will be restored back to us to empower us to the next level of our bioconscious evolution into the next level of what it means to be a human being. And you may have people out there listening to me right out there saying, I've been wondering what's going on in my life. Things have changed <laughs> so much, and I don't know where I'm going. And that's where that higher guidance starts coming in. So there are six tones. Now, there's some people out there that have gone to nine tones, but I kept the six because of the person that received the message to restore the frequencies was told to use the six. And we don't have time to get into it, but six is a powerful number. It's a great number in the universe. It's a great part of sacred geometry. And it's a part of the frequencies that lead us more and closer to the golden mean, 
and uh, so many wonderful things. There's so many wonderful things say about vibration and tuning forks in these days. <laughs> and what we've found out about it is they have they create a sacred spiral to generate the flow of energy up the spine, tending healthy energy to balance chakra. The spiral encodes itself as uh, is called a matrix of energy. And that word matrix is interesting, but in my Hebrew Bible study years, found out meant womb. Oh. So it's creative. Yeah, isn't that powerful? Yeah. So these forks using them opens the womb of consciousness for the other dimensions to begin to come in and intone into your third dimensional body, raising the frequency of a third dimensional body, which is under the name of resurrection. This is what resurrection means. Nice. Changing and raising the frequencies of our bodies out of 3D to become a more light body of 5D. And there's no better way to do that than to use these frequencies and tuning forks to help people to make this change as easy as possible by using just raw vibration of tuning forks. Here with. Uh, and I, when I was getting the download, I thought, okay, what do I do? Do I go to a seventh? Because you know the brain thinks linear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Uh, and and I was finding that I was curving into more vertical thinking. So what came to me was use all six of the forks to make the seven. When I get to the crown, I put all the six forks. Oh, okay. Gotcha. And tap them all at the same time and get that synergetic uh, crown chakra experience. So... Which kind of makes sense because the crown chakra is white light, right? Which is when you split it up, it's all the colors. Very good. That's white light. That's not all. I have, I have them on a xylophone where you can hear them really good. really want what I call raw vibration. You don't want it to go through music. You don't want it to go through technology. And that's <laughs> why I love these forks, because you can use them anywhere. You don't have to plug them into the grid. Uh, you know, they're, they're just mm. wonderful. Well, Ooh. that's a good a good point, because there's there's so much of this stuff, especially on YouTube, like all these solfeggio frequencies. You know, play this when you go to sleep and all this kind of stuff. What, what's your view on that? Well, point. I've resolved we live in the age in the world of technology. There's nothing I can do much about it. But the thing I keep telling people, when you see someone on Facebook, that's not your friend. That's an image of your friend. <laughs> yeah. It's not like being in the presence of a friend. So you're getting technologies interpreting our real world to us. Yeah. So it's feeding the illusion. You know, the world is in an illusion. It's in a kind of a sleep state anyway. Mm. And I think we're feeding that some with uh, yeah. with all technology. But to, uh. to break that by using tuning forks, that doesn't have to be interpreted through uh, technology. You're mm. getting that nothing but pure raw vibration. There's no real melody. Now I want to say about the solfeggio frequencies is they are, they are not uh, resonant with Western music. We've all downloaded Western music uh, as, a, as a diatonic scale of do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, right? Yeah. These are not that. They're dissonant to that. But here's the thing that is so cool. If you're looking for issues in the energy body that is dissonant, like dis-ease, uh, uh, karmic patterns that have not been balanced, uh, emotional traumas, that's dissonant. Yeah. So the physics says that like attracts like, right? So wouldn't it make sense that dissonant frequencies find dissonance in the body? And when dissonant is equal to dissonance, it turns into resonance. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When you get two things alike that join, 
then they are tuned to a resonant sound. So when I use these forks on people and they're going, ooh, that, I don't like that sound. And what I said, good, we found something. We found something dissonant in the first chakra, something that happened to you the first seven years of your life, even in conception, something has entered into your energy, into your energy body that is not resolved. And so I will take that and we'll work with it. And then I'll tap two together and have two dissonant forks. And all of a sudden it just changes and we go, oh, how beautiful that sound. Because dissonant was turned to resonance. Oh,